Okay, it's always important to uh, test a rover out before you put it in the wild with the, uh, the wheels up in the air. So what I'm doing here right now is uh, checking out my uh, Pixhawk based rover before we take it outdoors. And I, I found a glaring error already, which I have to figure out how to configure. And that is when I take my, uh, my, uh, remote and make the thing go forward. Everything works fine. I can go forward, backward. I can turn. And I've configured this to work properly. But let's say I run out of batteries and turn it off. The, rover then runs away so I've got to change that behavior or this thing is going to end up out in the road and somebody could hit it with a car or who knows what so before uh, we take this outside and start doing some basic testing I have to make the uh, settings so that if I lose radio which all I did was turn it off it does just stop so we're going to try to figure out that next. There, I turn the radio back on and it immediately stops. So we're making progress, but we're not there yet. I just took a photo, I think. <laughs> no, it's a video. I don't want to hit a car. car. I want to come back this way a little first. I was going to put uh, some hex head screws into those tires so they would it be like studs, but I don't think it's going to help much in this weather. It would help on ice. Look out! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 